Hello, welcome back to your Oracle DBA tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the file structure. So, this is the abstract picture of Oracle Database Server, which is instance plus database files. In this short video, we are going to discuss about what are different types of database files that exist in an Oracle Database Server. So essentially this is the focus and we are going to explain what are different types of uh, Oracle Database files. The first one is parameter file. Essentially this parameter file tells me how the instance is configured. That means how big is the SGA or it can tell how many of database processes called DB writer if by default it is one we can also start with five DB writer so in that case our parameter file will contain those information so essentially whenever during the during the database startup we use parameter file to configure the instance and the second thing is about data files and this is where all of your data will be ultimately be stored that means whenever we are creating a table EMP and let's say we are inserting 10 rows employee name King and Clark and all this thing these information are stored in an operating system file and that is called database files and then Essentially, every database must have at least one data file and this is one of the most important file because this contains all our information. Then number three is redo log file. Okay, so redo log files basically are the transaction logs of the database virtually every operation that you perform on an oracle database generate some amount of redo that means whenever i am doing in delete from emp that means this is the statement i am doing that i am going to delete from emp then in the redo log file we are going to create a transaction saying that employee table is deleted at this amount of time and then we let's say we do create a table create table x in that case in the redo log file we are going to put a information that table x is created at this point of time so essentially if i look at my redo log file the redo log file is going to tell me what kind of operations i'm doing and then by using redo log file I can recover my database at if in case of a media or instance failure alright because redo log file keeps track of the transaction say if I want if I want to uh, replay my redo let's say I have deleted my employee that means I'm going to do some insert to the employee table that means this redo log file must contain all those information so that I can revert back this delete that has happened at some point of time then the number four file is control file so control files basically contains a directory of all other files for example control file tells the instance where the database and the redo log files are let's say our we have a data file called c colon data slash one dot tbf and we have a redo log file called c colon redo one dot tbf so in that case the control file will contain all information about where these data files are located where this where this redo log files are located and instance is going to read this control file information to see where those data files 
and is going to open those data files so that we can add data into those data files and this is one of the most important files and then what we do we want to protect this control file that means instead of just storing one copy we probably going to store four copies of control file in case control file one is got destroyed because of some disk failure or whatever whatever the reason may be then we can revert back to the duplicate control file which is also same as the the first file okay and this is called multiplexing of control file all right and the next one is called temp file okay so to cater to the temporary requirement of space we use temp file for example whenever you are giving this select statement called select star from emp order by ename so this is an operation where we get the employee tables data to some some temporary location where we can sort it right so basically whenever we are going to do a sorting operation and all these things we need some temporary place where we can where we, we just use to sort and once we finish the sorting we do not need those temporary locations and and this is why we need a temporary file on the storage on the storage structure then the number six is password file all right so the password file are used to authenticate user performing administrative tasks over a network that means instead of logging into the machine directly if I just connect from another machine over telnet or whatever then I need password file to authenticate that remote user so that he can do administrative work like setting, starting up a database, setting down a database and so on. The last file is trace and alert log. So as you have seen that we have a lot of database background processes for example for whatever reason there is a on like for example there is the the background process is terminated abruptly in that case it is going to write something to the trace file so that anybody wants to look at a later point of time can probably diagnose what causes this error or whenever we have a ORA 600 or something you know a unexpected error then oracle by default generate some trace file so that later on somebody somebody can take a look and then figure out what went wrong to the oracle database and the alert log is something that a time stamped based log file which will say what is going on on the oracle database server so these are the basically very overview of database files what we are going to do in our next videos, we are going to discuss in detail about these files.